Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Mr. Marvin Wright. Uh, yeah, I got this just in case. Uh, good, good, good evening. I was wondering how I would start this, and I was wondering if uh, any of you knew uh, what Bruce Lee's favorite drink is. Uh, water! <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> That was to help me. My son told me that joke, so, but that was to help, <laughs> hopefully, with these tears and not make me be like uh, Terrell Owens and Ter Tony Romo, like, that's my quarterback. So, uh, but first of all, I just want to say thank you. I'm honored to be here today. Uh, I'm not even, I didn't even know about the Hall of Fame, to be honest, until three years ago when Coach told me I was being nominated or I was on a ballot. I, I don't think I got in, but uh, to finally get it, you know, with this group of people, uh, it's definitely special. Uh, Coach, Aaron, uh, the team, uh, the rest of you guys, that's all at Clifton. Uh, so I'm, I'm glad it's, if it happened, when it happened. Uh, so I just, uh, there's a bunch of people that I need to thank. Uh, uh, my mom, you know, for having me. Uh, she's a special lady, you know. I, I thank her for all the spankings, I think. And the, the whoopings, I think, helped keep me out of prison, maybe. You know, I'm guessing. I mean, that's probably part of it. Uh, Coach Jurek, you know, uh, you know, Cliff talked about Coach Jones. Uh, Coach Jurek, I won't say much, but you are, you, you're my guy. All right? <laughs> if, I, if I leave it there, I think I'll be good. I could get through the rest of this. <laughs> I'd like to thank John Mori, too, my lady has on. Uh, he appreciate, you know, you know, keeping in touch and keeping me posted on everything I need to do. Uh, there's some more friends and family. Uh, there's people like Sharon Bardis, my buddy Blue Bardis, his mom. She passed away not too long ago, but she's a great woman in my life as well. Uh, John Hernandez, uh, Juan Hernandez, he's also a buddy of mine, uh, passed away unexpectedly not too long ago, and uh, he was also a great man in my life as well. Uh, my past coaches, uh, my past coaches from Jesse Loomis to, to Weber to Emerson uh, to North, hey, we did a little bit of traveling, you know, I went to like four different elementaries, but it's all good, but that meant I met a lot of people, you know, I had a lot of people, uh, a lot of men in my life. Uh, that were important to me and that helped me be the person I am today uh, through those things. Jim Jones, like I said before, Don Sheeswall, uh, you know, Coach Donahue, I don't know, some people don't even remember Coach Donahue, but I remember Coach Donahue for being over at North. Um, James Martin was another guy that taught us how to play football uh, over there at nor North, and I think that's where it started at. Uh, I mean, that was a, the start of, a, of a, a, a great little run that we had there at Arthur Hill you know, with some games against South and, and North, and we we battled, but we figured that we'd be going off the hill together, and at some point we'd be, uh, put our teams together and we'd have a pretty good team, and, and that's what happened. Um, I, I can't say enough about my cousin, too. My cousin Howard Foster, he's in that video. Um, if I pitch the ball to Howard, maybe <laughs> more up to Howard, he'd probably be up here instead of me. So, but, um, uh, but, uh, <laughs> Um, there's other coaches, um, Coach Kubiak, you know, Coach T, uh, also Coach Carpenter from baseball, you know, he talked about baseball. I sucked at baseball, you know, I, but I, I, I kept at it, you know, like clipped, and I, I think and it made me a better person, it made me a better, uh, to actually be good at like everything, and then baseball I wasn't, so to actually put that hard work in there and get better at it, Ruben, I just see you over there now, another one of my big buddies too, man, I love you too, buddy, uh, but, um, I just, I just love sports uh, and all the doors that it's opened up for me. Uh, uh, and uh, I think, you know, we saw, everybody says this, but, you know, sports and, and, and life go together. Uh, and I think it's helped me in my life. Uh, I've been a juvenile court officer for 16 years over in, uh, in the community I work in. Uh, I think, uh, I think, uh, there, it's a group, group of kids that I work with. I mean, I, I feel like I'm working with myself, you know what I mean, to be honest. You know, maybe without the criminal background. <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, if you, if you know what I'm trying to say, you know what I mean? I, these kids are me, and it makes it really easy for me to, it's not just make it easy for me to do my job, but I'm, 
you know, I'm tough on them because, you know, they don't know my life really, you know what I mean? They don't know what I've been through. So I just try to tell them that, you know, you can do whatever you want to do, no matter what, you know, whatever type of situations you are. It's just don't be a victim of your circumstance. You know, you're a victim of your choices. So, uh, so I just try to motivate the kids that I'm working with. You know, I try to influence them. Um, and, uh, and just like I was influenced by the other man in my life, um, I, yeah, I, you know, I talked to Cliff, you know, I know Cliff made it to the league, you know, I used to think about that, you know, I, I never got a chance, you know, it was like the only thing I think I, I don't know, you know, because I didn't, I didn't try out, so I didn't get cut, you know what I mean, so, you know, it's, it's like that one thing, like, it's like that one thing, like, I never know, I think I could have been a pretty good special teams player, for sure, I might, I could run down on kickoff, I could probably hit block somebody as well, but I never know, but, you know, I didn't make it to the league, but I think through all the, all the people that's in my life, that's helped me, I think I made it in the league of life. And uh, I just want to say thank you.